Okay, where to start? So the Maple Leafs pull out from their ass pretty much a 5-4 OT win. William Nylander, you all remember I gave the shot prop yesterday. I won't lie, I was pissed off in the third period. Gets a penalty shot, misses the net. Even previous to that, to gain the penalty shot, uh, doesn't get a shot on goal. I'm like, this is just not our night for the shot prop. And then he scores a tying goal, just goes off his body. I think that's good hockey karma. And then what a burst in OT for the OT winner. Nylander, 2-1 and one in that game. This guy's been a big money player all season long. And to me, the difference is just the consistency. Every time out, Nylander seems to bring something different to the mix. And I think he's just been very, very dynamic. And, and, and to me, that's the biggest difference is just how consistent he's been throughout the season in being a difference maker for this Leafs team. He's going to get paid big time um in the off season and 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 he should be uh he he's just been an impeccable story this season i really think he took this team and said we're winning this game yesterday and uh full credit to the maple Leafs, by the way down 4-1 in that game they storm back uh matt murray just didn't have it and this has been a prevailing story for like almost a month now he centers four on eight he gets the yank for the first time in his maple leafs career but full credit to Ilya samsonov now, not overly tested, eight shot, or 11 shots on goal, goes 11 for 11 But I thought he made two huge saves in the first period, or excuse me, in the third period. One on Forsling, one on Verhege to solidify at least a point. You know, I, I brought back memories of the game on Saturday against Boston where they blew it, didn't even get to overtime. So I think they deserve a lot of credit uh, for getting to overtime to begin with. But I thought Elias Samsonov, to come in cold, and I know the players said the same thing in the post-game remarks, to come in cold and perform the way he did, I thought was really, really impressive and sort of picking up Matt Murray. I don't know if teams have the book on this guy, glove side, but yeah, there's just a couple shots, the last couple games specifically, that have to be stopped, plain and simple. And I think it's an easy decision. Elias Samsonov will start, at least in my opinion, coming up on Thursday against the Winnipeg Jets. But I think... A lot of uh, kudos deserves to go to Samsonov for stepping in there. That's a tough job for a goalie who thinks they have the night off and to come in cold, go 11 for 11. And again, those two marquee saves that we bookmarked for sure in the third period gets him the point. And then OT, the Leafs pretty much control the puck. They're a much different team, by the way, in OT. If you guys remember earlier on in the season, every time I came on the show and ragged on this team, they just suck in OT. But they flipped the script on that. It seems like they have the right personnel to at least start with the puck. And I think they're making better decisions overall with the puck in overtime. 